राम जेठमलानी सोली सोराब जी सीनियर एडवोकेट सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉर्मर अटॉर्नी जनरल जॉइनिंग अ फैंटेस्टिक पैनल व्हिच आल्सो फीचर्स जस्टिस मार्कंडे का जो प्रेजेंटली चेयरमैन ऑफ द प्रेस काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया फॉर्मर जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट थैंक यू जेंटलमैन इट्स अ ग्रेट ग्रेट टू सी थ्री ऑफ यू टुगेदर ऑन वन प्रोग्राम जस्टिस काजू हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट द सीक्रेट पीएमओ नोट व्हिच वी हैव रिपोर्टेड ऑन Yes, and I want to congratulate Times Now Channel for uh, uh, helping, um, getting me vindicated, because so much uh, attacks was being made, and I was shocked. A man like Mr. Fali Nariman uh, said that I am seeking cheap publicity. A man whom I hold in such high respect, I was shocked, and I uh, sent an email to Mr. Fali Nariman. You must immediately ap apologize to me. what kind of uh, language uh, 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 were people using against me that i am i have some motive and all this nonsense was being talked and i just tolerated all this nonsense from senior people they were speaking against me like this and now i have been vindicated thanks to Ta time now channel justice kaju there are two gentlemen here today you know both men of wisdom and experience and i am sure that at different opportunities justice kaju you have had the opportunity to match you know your wits your intellect and your legal acumen with them now they too just discuss you have had that point of view may i with your permission ask them to come into the debate soli sorab ji yes of course soli sorab ji my first question to you sir you said yesterday that it is strange that a judge referring to justice kaju who himself was a beneficiary of the collegium system under chief justice of india y k sabarwal should now bitterly complain against it. Tonight Justice Kaju says that after the secret PMO note he's been vindicated would you take what you said back yesterday about the way in which Justice Kaju who was a beneficiary of the collegium system as you said should be bitterly complaining about it. Yes yes because the point is look first of all let me clear I'm not attributing any ulterior motives to Justice Kaju but we are mystified I'm mystified as many others about the definite silence for over a decade if he knew the chief justices were amenable to pressures right then i i can't be uh, understand why he the chief justice was sabaral who approved of his appointment to the supreme court now did he not have the duty to seek out it's not good to say never late than never i would rather the earlier the better and if he had a duty he should have performed the duty at the earliest and if he did not perform the duty i'm sorry he is guilty of dereliction of duty justice kachu would you like to respond to soli sorab ji who says he still yes, on I that point yes i want to respond He's, to that he, he uses strong language yes, he says dereliction yes i want to respond on duty. that point yes sir yes i want to respond on that i want to make two points firstly you see what really happened was you see for last couple of months i had been putting various posts on my facebook page now uh, about maybe 10 uh, days back or so some tamilians they commented on my facebook post that sir you have not given your experiences of madras high court so then i started you know remembering my experiences and i started putting a post about madras high court you can see my fa facebook page on that and then i remembered this incident also and then i put it on my facebook post this is exactly what happened so can you remember earlier see, what soli sorab ji is saying so with respect what soli sorab ji is saying justice kaju is that you should not have kept this back i mean why do you need someone to ask you on a facebook post the question that he is saying is that irrespective of the hmm. merits of your case how could you not tell the people of this country that there was an attempt to for of a of a government to muscle its way through the judiciary to get a tainted man appointed in the high court i mean this is this is nothing short of treason if i may say so justice kaju if somebody has done something like I, this, I will tell why you. did you not come out earlier yes i will tell you i will tell you firstly uh, i did uh, i i uh, informed the chief justice of india justice lahoti who is the head of the judicial family all the facts You see, as long as I'm in office, there is a certain discipline of a judge. He can't go in public. He should inform to the head of the judicial family, which is the Chief Justice of India, and which I did. 
and I was the, in the judiciary till uh, um, September 2011. I could not have gone uh, public. Uh, that would be violation of judicial discipline. So you Le okay. And uh, this incident was of 2005. Now, okay. therefore, for six years, I had also, you know, so many things that happened. Then, because of this uh, Facebook post of the Tamilians, then I thought, let me put it th on the Facebook post. Secondly, see, is truth not more important than timing? Now, people are saying, the timing is important. Forget the truth. Forget ah. truth is not important. Soli, sir, Listen, see. what I am saying, is it correct or not? Uh, if I was saying something false, say, uh, then prove it and I, uh, then you can attack me. But what is this, uh, that timing, 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 truth goes, uh, is sidetracked. So these, these are all, you know, Ra diversionary Ram methods Palani. to avoid the truth. Ram huh. Jet Palani, Justice Kaju, in a way, yes. if I may say so, is responding <clears throat> what you say. And Justice Kaju, you know, this is what Ram Jet Palani said. And yeah. Ram Jet Palani can correct me if I am wrong. He has said, while I believe every word he has written, I have no doubt about it, I have a grievance against him that he did not speak on this issue before. Not just that, Ram Jaitpalani goes on to say, Justice Karju, that if he, that is you, had the moral courage to speak the truth at that time, he might have suffered a little himself, but he could have prevented a lot of damage that has been done since then. Ram Jaitpalani, why are you questioning Justice Markande Karju's moral courage? Why are you doing that? Well, well, listen, uh, this, this knowledge of facts was so important that I think that if I was in Justice Kaju's position, I would not have rest content with thinking that my duty is well performed by informing Lahoti. And he was seeing that the thing is continuing in spite of what he has initially done. And I, I think that he should have realized that if the truth is more widely circulated, it will prevent further damage, which obviously he wanted to prevent. And that is my only grievance against him. I don't require this corroborative evidence which you have now discovered. I, I, I so implicitly believed his story, because Kaju has been a friend, though he may not acknowledge it. Many people don't acknowledge their friendship with me because it's very embarrassing for them. But. But I can tell you that I never, never doubted one word of what he had said. And to that extent, his integrity in my mind is unchallengeable. But I think that he did to some extent fail in his duty. And uh, I, I, ah. I, I would excuse him for it. Because probably, probably he realized that the publicity might cause more damage in a sense to the judiciary than prevent damage. Well, Justice Kaju, I think, wants to respond to respond so, to you. Yes, Justice Kaju, I saw your hand go up there. Both these gentlemen are questioning you on what they call dereliction of duty. Now, please, nobody is taking away from what you have exposed. But when Ram Jaitmalani and Soli Sorabji both come together to say to you on a live TV program, Justice Kaju, why didn't you do your duty earlier? This is a massive, massive expose. You. you see a, a prime minister trying to fix, a prime minister and a law minister trying to fix a tainted man's appointment in a Madras High Court is sacrilege, Justice Kaju. I don't, I cannot understand why you could, was sitting on it and both these gentlemen in a very polite way are challenging you tonight to reveal that. Yeah. May I answer? Yes, sir. Answer both of them. See, these two gentlemen, I respect them, they are senior, but they have never been judges. They do not know what it means to have the discipline of a judge. I have, I've been a judge for 20 years. Now, once, you see, once you are a, a judge, there is certain restraints. You cannot go in the uh, uh, public domain. You make whatever uh, complaints, whatever you want to make to the head of the judicial family, that is the Chief Justice of India. You know, when I was acting Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, I went to Justice Lahoti and I told him there are some judges there in Allahabad High Court who are doing shocking things. And because of uh, um, uh, what, uh, my complaint, the, the, some of those judges were transferred. So I did my best. You know what I did? Perhaps no other judge in India has done ever or uh, um, till now. You should all have supported me instead of criticizing me that at least I have come out um, um, with this expose. 
till september 2011 there was no question of my going into the public domain you, aren't you people senior enough to understand this soli sarab ji soli sarab ji 2011 i was a sitting judge i was sitting judge i could not have gone into the public domain there is something like judicial discipline which you people don't understand because you have never been judges soli sarab ji you've never been a judge you don't understand these are issues of judicial discipline would you like to respond to 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 justice kaju yes, and all for all yes. the viewers tonight i want to place on record just one fact Justice Kaju is the same man who okay. said and I quote the famous quote of Justice Markande Kaju is quote there is something rotten in the Allahabad High Court <coughs> now Justice Kaju not to provoke you but then I would say there is something very rotten in the Madras High Court which was there you are the famous judge Justice Kaju who questioned the integrity of judges in the Allahabad High Court and I understand you are saying tonight you were a judge in the Supreme Court so you could not speak up I wonder tonight after what you have said whether Soli Sarab ji will take back his words because he questioned you tonight yes Soli Sarab ji Well Justice Kaju is right I have not been a judge and there is such a thing as judicial discipline but surely there are things higher than judicial discipline if Justice Kaju was convinced the chief justices were coming to pressure Leave us our judicial discipline. He should have come up and said so to the public, to the people of India. No use saying better late than never. I think earlier the better. He would have prevented the rot. As I said, I'm not attributing any motives. I'm only considering the fact that why he remains silent, especially when his appointment was by a chief justice who was attacked, Chief Justice Sabarwal. any appointed it so so can so i that can, is a bit sir, sir you know mr sorab ji we have a bad habit here on the news hour tonight and that bad habit is we are as blunt as we possibly can be up to the limits of propriety now my question to you is are you trying to say so sorab ji and if you are saying so tonight say so justice ka you can respond to you Sorry? because no no are you saying i am choosing my words carefully in the presence of three men who have many considerable years of legal experience you know i don't want to face another defamation suit are you saying that justice kaju stayed quiet to protect his own interests are you saying so soli sorab ji no no i'm not saying so then, I, but then why I'm are you questioning is, him all the time why are you saying intelligence bureau reports are unreliable will you let me intelligence speak? bureau reports are you concocted under, you are Will you understand better if you let me speak? Go ahead. What I am saying is, his considerations of judicial propriety should have prevailed over judicial discipline. That's what I am saying. What he has done is good, but the earlier would have been better. That's all. Justice Kaju, your turn. <coughs> I could not have gone into the public domain till September 2011. Why can't you gentlemen understand this? because i was a sitting judge till september 2011 and i did what i could i went and told the chief justice of india placing all the facts that was the maximum i could do it was thereafter up to the chief justice of india to um, um, do the needful so on my part it is not that i was silent but i could not have gone into the public domain till i was a sitting judge why can't you gentlemen understand i mean i am shocked that senior people don't know these elementary things there sir there is a certain judicial discipline just I, mr I, chetpalani I, of course after retirement you can say anything but till you are there you can't you you can't go into the public domain judges are not expected to go into the public domain as long as they are sitting judges. mr chetpalani revise your argument he he said twice to today twice in the course of the program no. he said why don't senior people no. like you no. understand this this basic issue that he is trying to convey please sir let me <coughs> let me let me explain to mr justice kart you i may not have been a judge but surely i am educated enough to know what the duties of a judge are i don't believe that there is any rule of judicial ethics which prevents a judge from speaking the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth which he thinks ought to be known and he realized that his disclosure to to mr uh, who was the chief justice uh, uh, lahoti has not had its effect and the mischief is continuing when it was continuing it was his duty to break his silence and speak up 
whatever be the cost to him. Now I yes, I think. Oops, just he, just he realized yeah. that publicity will hurt the judiciary more. So he might have acted under that kind of an influence. But if he tells me today that even today he has not realized that he could have prevented further mischief, which he did not, and to that extent he he, he should be a little apologetic about it. But don't accuse us of not knowing anything about judicial ethics. Justice Kaju, both these gentlemen don't buy your argument yeah. on timing. They are still continuing to challenge. I you. think the the 